Okay, so another Vespiquen team in round two. So I'm happy to use uh, Venusaurus to save swap again. Um, because I can beat Vespiquen in zeros, so I'll be able to take an advantage from that match, even if Vespiquen counter switches. Um, so again, I want a lead that's going to beat um, beat Frostlass. So my options are sort of Lapras or... Well, this, this is difficult because my, my options are Lapras and Rhyperia. But I don't like bringing them against Razor Leaf teams. Uh, and I know I want to bring um, Beedrill in the back because Venusaur will uh, sort of draw the Vespiquen out. Um, so let's put Beedrill in the back for, for first to begin with. So now I know the thing I lead with has got to beat Vespiquen because neither, neither Beedrill or Venusaur do, really. Um, not great against Lapras either, so I'm going to lead Rhyperia. Um, and then if I um, if I don't bump into the Vespiquen lead, um, I'll probably just have to switch out straight away. But let's see how it goes. Some people uh, some people see Rhyperia, Rhyperia see Rhyperia and panic. Um, well, this is an interesting one. I win the zero shield scenario against Umbreon. Um, just because of superpower being so great. However, uh, I know I need to save Rhyperia for the Vespiquen. So I'm not going to complete this match. I'm just going to tank the foul play, save some energy, uh, and then go to the Frenzy Plant. Then go to the Venusaur. It's always worth saving a bit of energy on Rhyperia just because... Um, just because Rock Wrecker is so good, like nothing on his team wants to take a Rock Wrecker. Um, there's about eighty percent to Venus, so so the fact that he switched Lapras into Venusaur makes me think he's not got Vespiquen. Um, so I'm not going to get much use out of Rhyperia this game unless uh, I use it to smack down the Lapras. So I'm not going to shield the Venusaur. Um, just because I want to force him to shield, but uh, I don't want to kill him because I want to be able to smack down, smack him down with Rhyperia. Oh shit! So I misclicked there. Um, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. Um, I've got to shield this really. Probably got back to back surfs, but I managed to get to the X scissor, so that's good. This should kill him, I think. No. Nope. Oh, that's annoying. I was hoping I'd be able to get a smack down on him uh, before he was able to get to the surf. But again, I'm close to a rock wrecker here. So he brings in the gloom, which is doing a load of damage. But this is going to hurt him hard. Um, yeah, look at that. That's mad. Um, now Beedrill can come in and farm. Those Razor Leafs are doing nothing. So he's got Lapras in the back with little to zero health. An Umbreon that's been chunked, but... Yeah, that misclick might have... Might have been my undoing there. Yeah, I'm not going to finish... Uh, I'm not going to finish him off here. The Exorcist just don't do enough damage. hoping to get two back to back so we couldn't sneak any snarls in but I don't think I'm gonna get them no yeah, not quite so yeah lose lose game one um, but we learned that he didn't like he didn't fancy Vespiquen there um, but now I've revealed Venusaur and Beedrill he might adjust to bring Vespiquen this time. Um, interesting, we didn't see double grass from him. But I really like Frostless against him. Uh, and I really like Beedrill against him. 
Um, so he might lead a grass this time. To uh, having having seen the Rhyperia lead, um, he he led Umbreon last game, so he might stick with the same line, uh, knowing that he won. So in response to that, I'm going to lead B drill this game to cover the grass lead and the Umbreon staying the same. Worst case scenario is uh, he leads Frostlass or Vespiquen or, or Lapras. So uh, having Rhyperia to switch in would be good, but then I could be I'd be counter switched by a grass, so I can't switch Rhyperia in. Uh, so Lapras would be the, the best switching. Um, couldn't switch that into Lapras, but I'd have to play out the uh, the Beedrill Lapras game if he leads Lapras. Um, so my last pick needs to cover needs to cover Lapras, uh, and it needs to cover. Yeah, I'm going to put Venus around the back. Um, just because it covers most things quite nicely. Um, and if it comes down to the end and I'm in zero shields, uh, Venusaur will be able to cover the Vespiquen. So let's try that. So he leads the Lapras, so this isn't great. So I might try and time my switch. Um, he gets a bit of lag. I'm going to try and time the switch into Lapras to try and catch a Surf, but he doesn't um, doesn't get caught there. Not on the shield because um, I know Skullbash is going to do a lot of damage, but it's opening the door for him to switch out if he does. So he comes into Venusaur. I get to the Skullbash before he gets the Frenzy Plant. That's huge. Just gonna try and bind with me. Yeah, oh no, yeah, good call. He goes for the frenzy plant just to make sure I don't get to another surf. Um, now I can come back in with Beedrill and farm. Uh, he'll go for a sludge bomb and it might do 35 40 percent damage. Um, so as long as I don't take two, I'll be okay. So I'll farm a little bit longer, go for the axes before he gets to another one. Saving both my shields for Venusaur here. If he's oh, so he goes into one room. That's interesting. So I don't want Frostlass to be caught against Umbreon. Oh, it's not Frostlass. I've run the back. It's Venusaur. That's fine. So I just want to keep going for these. Um, X is just to chip away and try and force that last shield. I might shield here just to try and get another one out of him. Yeah, I'm going to shield. I've got low health, but I'm close to the next one. Um, so I might be able to get the shield back off him in return, but he pulls a really good switch into Lapras. So I go into Venusaur. Now I'm going to try and get up to two Frenzy Plants here. Or oh, close to it. Oh yeah, so close enough. I didn't want to risk him going for a Skull Bash. So he really has to shield this, I think. Oh no, okay. But because I've got those extra... Um, those extra Vine Lips in against the Lapras, I can beat him to the charge move. So yeah, he'll shield this one for sure. I'm gonna let it through. I'll try and get to the frenzy plant before the next one. Yeah, that's, that's great. So I saved the shield there just in case he had the um, the foul play built up the B drill. Yeah, and I just about get to it. Whew. So I'm able to take game two. So 
So in third, so he's used. He's used the Umbria on both times. He didn't. He, he used uh, Gloom game one and Venusaur game two. And I can't remember what else he used. But he's not running double grass, which is interesting. Um, now, based on that, and how good how good Rhyperior is against Frostless, Lapras, and Vespiquem. This game, I'm going to run double rock. A bit of a risky strategy. Um, but I, I think if I'm thinking he's not going to bring double grass, I think it could pay off. So ideally here, I want to catch his grass stack with the lead. Uh, so I'll go, uh, I'll lead Beedrill. And then, so if I lead any, so if he leads in, if I lead into Umbreon, now Beedrill versus Umbreon, you might, it might suggest that that's a good matchup for me, so I might, you might expect me to stay in. Um, but I have to save Beedrill for the grass type. So unless I lead into Gloom or Venusaur, I'll be switching out into um, Sudowoodo to try and bait out the grass. But I'm lucky, um, and I lead into Gloom. So he goes into when we run here, so I'll counter switch to Sudowoodo. So the key thing here for me is winning, keeping switch advantage. So if I need to double shield to do that, I will. But um, I'd rather not because Rhyperi is better with a shield, um, generally speaking, or two. So from here on out, I'm going to match his shields. So he shields that. So I'll shield the next. I'll shield the next foul play that comes in. So yeah, shield this one. I'm mixing up when I'm throwing my um, charge moves. I'm not always throwing them uh, as soon as they become available. Um, I'm doing that. Um, oh, don't want to farm it. I don't want to shield this. If I do, he just comes in and farms me with Razor Leaf. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm mixing up my shields because... Mixed up when I'm throwing the charge moves because um, I don't want to become too predictable. He might try Sack Swap. Um, Straight back in with Beedrill. Um, I didn't, I didn't switch there because um, there was so little health left on the Sudowoodo. I valued keeping the ability to switch if I needed to over the um, over that little bit of health on Sudowoodo. Um, so I'm just going to farm him down. Don't need to shield this. I think it'd be a Petal Blizzard or a Moon Blast. Either way, not doing a great deal of damage. A Sludge Bomb, yeah, fine. So I should be able to just farm him and then throw a lot of moves, a lot of excesses at the next thing. Let's see, it's Frostlass. So yeah, I saw the Ice Ghost pop up, so I knew that was Frostlass, so I got no to go for the uh, drill run instead. And he shields that, so that's great. So now I can go straight to my Rhyperia. Farm down the Umbreon, perfect. And then Rock Wrecker. Bang. Brilliant. So yeah, I called it right, it wasn't going to play the double grass, so I was able to able to 